do 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 boo do boo. Am I gonna make you refresh again? I am. And I done did. Okay. Hi. You're better off heading to the airstrip by Chocobo. Okay. You know, Thanks. we should probably take a look at the town notice board. See if there are any we jobs for us. Always fancy top. trying my hand as a merc. No time to dick around. What is a merc? I just have to try some of our home. Help my pals out when I can. So many people talking. Down there. Remember, no fear in the water. <sighs> oh, chicken, now, where art thou? Least. Say, can you spare a minute? Not really. <laughs> you know that weird black no. stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, the wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition, but look at it holes everywhere. Oh, so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. I love this lady. I, I love her, and we must protect her. Um, Ask about the escaped chickens. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, but these two got away. Peepy -pee and Peep are so easygoing. They stayed right here with me without Pee -pee any and urging. Peep? But Emily and oh Pippity and Pippy and Peep, well, they didn't hesitate. Took off like lightning. Okay. We don't usually see anything like that around these parts. From that black stuff to those bizarre aeroplanes. I tell you, all this craziness is enough to drive a poor woman mad. The peace and quiet was the only good thing about this place. <laughs> so we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. Birds, they love the sound of this here clanger. Use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. <laughs> Three of them are still in the village. We should start by searching the surrounding area. Oh my god. What? There. I got away. Bro, it wouldn't let me go back anymore. Wait, what? Get over here, chicken. That's a cute little chicken. Over there.
Where am I going? Right here? So what are you then? I'm Kate Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. I think it might be time to top up the old batteries. I guess Kate Sith is some kind of robot, isn't he? Dude, I be can't. Careful. Oh my god. Pete, I was so worried about you. That just leaves Pippany. Goodness me. How far could she have gone? Pippany ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. Before the fiends do. Oh, okay. I know, Red's so into this. So, what are Free Flyer pilots exactly? Well, since the Republic's on the scrap heap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less, though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. Bet our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. What? 
I have to lure him all the way back to town? Bro. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. This does not sound fun. Oh my god, dude. And we're going to do it, obviously, but I don't want to. Punch through. Allow me. Can you take over for yeah, me? Yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna make you regret this. Pour it in all. Want some more? Suck on this! Go on! Move! You gotta love it! You ain't getting out of this one! Don't go to that for you! Take him down! Ready or not, here I come! Huh. It's your turn now! Gotcha! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bacock, bacock, bacock. Hey! You needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. You speak chicken? More or less. They were quite eager to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. Oh, Urban back. One sec. Yeah, no more walking the chicken back. Thank God, dude. Oh my lord. Uh... Oh. Okay. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. You talk to chicken while the dude is talking to a dog. I know, right? Dev's trolling? You know it. To be fair, Red is also part lab rat. Not wrong. Lab rat dog.
my darlings, I'm so relieved you all made it back safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. <laughs> Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. Say good night, Pippily. <gasps> I don't think I've ever met such nice young people. Come back any time, you hear? There's plenty more scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. They... They could have lived long and happy lives running free. If I hadn't... Well, we all gotta eat. Oh! <laughs> wow! Wow! That was, uh... That was quite a thing, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Let's go rest. Order around a verdant tree. There's no better pick me up on the cup. See if that bitterness don't grow up. Yes. I will eat some chicken nuggets in honor of Pipley. Oh, oh. Too pipply soon. I'm gonna go snuggle my bird now. <laughs> yeah. Probably for the best. Did call it Yakuza inspired? You should have seen that ending a mile away. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh oh. Someone Mr. AJ, thanks for the thousand cheer. This wee pot. Talk about rustic. Then again, a life without Marco. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact. This could be a whole new string to the Shinra Resort's bow, eh? The rural getaway! Cast off modernity and embrace eternity! You'd be surprised how many people would go for it. Could be a nice little air. to square one huh who are you whatever i don't have time to <sighs> that arm that magnificent arm uh. it is a weapon but how does it work uh. 
a universal adapter, allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally. Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. Is that the weaponsmith from Dane, Dave the Diver? Yes. Provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? Uh, an old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there. <laughs> Actually, I have no idea who built this. I found it in a chest in a random place. Eureka! Uh, <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. You live here? I'm originally from Junon, but I could hardly breathe there, so I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace, and eventually I wound up here. Not a bad place, huh? Of course, materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. <laughs> the ultimate weapon? Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon, I lack the vocabulary to describe. Well, if all you need is some material, sure, why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful, thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay. Gotta say, never seen someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their best to look the other way. He's a weird one. Huh. That's putting it mildly. Made me realize, too, how soft I've gotten. Because in the old days, I would have said no touching and decked his ass. In the old days? If it ain't the present, it's the past, son. Oh, what's that? Okay, well. Is Ko mini-gamed out yet between this and Yakuza? There's a ton of them. Dude, I don't think I could ever possibly be mini-gamed out. was talking about don't know what else it'd be well let's see where it takes us you ready Left. Okay. 
So we go in here. Got to line it up right. That way. This way. Is that, is that it? We're close, I think. Let's take a look. Oh, God. Best do it right. Exploiting the elemental weakness or inflicting enough damage during ionic charge will pressure. Come through for me. Thanks, buddy. Don't know where I'd be without you. Still got more to find. Wait, it didn't give me a fully fleshed out mini game for picking up the ore? Where's this garbage? Hi, Joe Bob. Thanks for the 22, bud.
Well, drat. Okay. Let's finish this. Oh, we've been there. Let's go back to here. What happened? I took my car in for a service, and as they were doing the service, they found a part that is expensive is broken. And that sucks. Mm -mm. Did they break it? Uh, no, funny enough, the reason the guy called is because the place that I am, the place that I got my car at, um, they actually send you a video of, uh, of like walking around your car and, and sh talking about the inspection and what needs to be done and stuff like that. And they found it during the video. <laughs> so the, um, that was the, the manager, and he just called and he's like, did you watch that video that we sent you? And I was like, no, I haven't had time yet. And he goes, yeah, you're gonna see something in there that, and it, they're gonna say, we need to give you a call and stop it. So I'm just calling you. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. So apparently while they were they were filming the video, they, um, they noticed that there was uh, something dripping out of the, the front left. They were already replacing my brakes and uh, it turned out that the coolant reservoir was punctured and that it was leaking. Did they do it? I mean, who knows? I, do I, I mean, maybe, who knows? Do I care? Not really, because the whole thing's covered under warranty and it will cost me a penny more. It's just gonna take a little longer. Oh, no. Piece of cake. Oh. Yeah. If they're trying to scam me, it's the worst scam ever. You're trying Enough. One more shot. No, and, and for the record, the, the place I took my car is the dealership I got it from. They've always been super cool. I have I actually like I'm on a first name basis with the guy who just called me. I I don't think they would try to rip me off. <laughs> I really don't think so. Although that $700 uh, fluid for my blinkers was a little weird. And then there was the $2,000 anti-sun coating. Uh, I'm sure it is. All done. They got to have blinker fluid. That's right. I mean, that's what they told me. But I need my blinkers to work. <clears throat> Oh, I did have to get the internal headlight cooling fans. For 3500 that one was pretty rough. But I mean, I mean, I need headlights, right? So, 